Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and I love any makeup, especially shiny, shifting, sparkly eyeshadows. And today I'm going to be talking about 10 eyeshadow palettes that I purchased and if I would purchase them if they were coming out right now, knowing what I know, knowing my experience with these palettes, would I buy them right now in 2022? And the originator of this kind of video is Dolly Mama. I will link her channel down below and there's some other amazing creators that have also done this kind of video. So I did do this one previously and I will link that one down in the description box, but I did a little bit of a spin on it and I only talked about palettes that were sent in PR or gifted by brands. So today I'm actually going to be talking about palettes that I did purchase. There's a nice variety of some older palettes, newer palettes as well. So let's get right into it. These are obviously in no particular order because that doesn't really matter in this case. So first up is the Sugar Pill Mini Color Palette, the Fun Size Palette. Oh, I totally already forgot what it was called. I love this palette so much. I feel like I was a little bit iffy when it first came out, but I love this one. This one is to me what the Creepy Q2 palette is and I did do swatch comparisons with those. So I do know that these shades are pretty different from the Creepy Q palettes, which is awesome. Would I buy this today if it was to come out? I think I would have definitely gotten excited, but if in this alternate universe I already had the Creepy Q2, I feel like I would have probably skipped out on this one maybe. Because as much as I love this and I love the tones, like really like these tones up here are my favorite part of this palette. I do feel like the shade Continue really just sticks out a little bit like a sore thumb and I just feel like it doesn't really belong. I wish it was more of like a pastel yellow or something like that. So I don't think I would purchase this one if it was revealed right now in 2022. Next up is the Plain Jane palette. They have remastered this palette two times now, I believe. Uh, one time last year, I think only one or two shades got switched out. But uh, the newly remastered palette, which I I do also have I haven't done a video on that one yet but let me know in the cards below if you would like to see a video I know it's not anything new and exciting but I was kind of planning on doing a video anyway it just kind of depends on when I will have the time but this is my very first adept palette I love this palette so much I would 150 million percent repurchase this zero questions I love all the shades in here I think it's a really nice variety for the most part they're toppers and this just makes them so much more fun because you can layer them on top of each other on top of men eyeshadows and create some really beautiful easy one and done look so the next palette is the escape pod from Kaleidos this I purchased before I started getting PR from Kaleidos I was definitely very excited when this first started getting sneak peeked and revealed and this has some really beautiful metallic topper like shades and some brighter colors I do remember having some issues with some of the mattes in here and overall like color story wise like I, while I love the whole concept and everything and the packaging always is a little creaky <laughs> the mattes weren't my favorite and I just feel like I could have switched out these two neutral shades maybe and also these two green shades are very similar so I actually don't think I would purchase this right now knowing what I know and my experience with the palette I feel like I have some very similar colors already like that that I prefer the formula of and also some other like shimmery shadows and single eyeshadows I would definitely want to get it just because of the theme and because it's Kaleidos ultimately I wouldn't so on to the creepy cute palette from Shroud Cosmetics it mine still says strip cosmetics because I did purchase it right around the time that they rebranded and I I love this palette so much. Definitely would purchase this knowing what I know. This is one of my most favorite pastel formulas, if not my most favorite pastel formula. This palette is just so easy to use. You can do some really beautiful looks. Quality is amazing. And it's like a cute little pastel palette. Love the packaging artwork. So I would uh, definitely buy that one. On to the You Beauty palette from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. This was also a palette that I purchased before I got PR from the brand, which the last palette the Nocturnal palette is the first palette I got in PR and this one I was so, so excited about because of the multichromes in here. There's two multichromes from what I remember and from what I can see and then uh, some other like dual chromes and uh, like more regular shimmer shades. I really had a great time with the mattes. I really like the mattes a lot. I feel like this is a really interesting color story. It's definitely just a little bit out of the ordinary. So I'm torn because I think that I have so many shades that are similar to this. However, I don't have a direct dupe to Good Day. I did do swatch comparisons on my dedicated video with this palette and there was one shade I can't remember if it was Phoenix from Terra Moons it's kind of similar but this one it has just a little bit more color to it so you know like this one is more like a true iridescent shade and this one just has a little bit more oomph this is actually the same shade that's in the Dennis and Myricks Playwork 3 palette so would I purchase this I'm actually not sure about this one like I really like it but I just feel like looking at it now knowing what I have in my collection I think I might skip on this one. 
I think this might be a skip, a very heartbroken skip at that. So next up is the by Melalops palette. This is the Milonaria palette. And oh, I can't bend this backwards. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to hold it like this. This palette was my first time trying out by Melalops. The only other experience I have with this brand is their actual um, graphic eyeliner brush set. So I was very excited to try out the palettes. These mattes are some of the best mattes I've ever tried. They're so beautiful. They blended themselves. I was completely blown away. As for the shimmers, we have a nice variety of some like kind of like standard regular metallic shades that are just, you know, like a really trustworthy formula of a metallic. And then there's some a uh, little bit more sparkly like this shade right here is really shiny and so is icy so uh while i love this palette and i love the color story i really feel like i wish it was just maybe like rearranged or something about it like i really wish it was just a little bit more colorful but i and not all the shades are like my kind of metallic but some of them are really really shiny so i don't think i would purchase this one um knowing what i know even though i love the mattes so much I feel like there's a couple of different alternate universes where, you know, one would be how many neutral shadows do I have? And if I didn't have many, then I think this would be a really great staple palette to have with like a nice variety of textures as well as like really reliable mattes. But having the collection that I have now, like I would definitely wanted to have bought it just to try out the brand, which is why I bought it in the first place. I don't think I would buy this one actually in 2022. I just feel like the color story is not anything that I feel like really drawn to want to bring into my collection. So again, another heartbroken one. Next up is the Melt, uh, what is this one? What is this one again? Amori Mariposa's palette. This one is actually discounted at $28 right now, which is funny because on my review of this palette, I was talking about how I really feel like I would only recommend this palette if it was on sale for like $25. So perfect timing. I I think I would skip on this one. I really like the mattes. These are definitely the good melt matte formula. The shimmers are a little bit kind of like, they're definitely nicer shimmers, but they're not like the best, most shiny and kind of what I expect in a shimmer kind of metallics so overall I don't think I would get this one I definitely already have some of these shades uh, I really wanted it for the theme and because it was Melt Cosmetics but I think maybe if it, if it was on sale for $25 I would have bought it but at full price I would not have bought this I don't feel like this palette was worth the price the packaging is beautiful the embossing in the shades is beautiful but I just don't think that it's quite enough for me to like want to actually spend money on it especially not at full price like no way we're down to three palettes so on to the hauntingly glamorous palette from unearthly cosmetics i believe this is one of my first palettes that i tried from unearthly cosmetics maybe the second one i'm not 100 percent sure but i love love the mattes in here so so much definitely repurchase i love that the matte formula in here is just so reliable so i know every time i reach for this palette i'm gonna get a really nice beautiful look i love that there's some depth in here i love the tones of some of these other matte eyeshadows are really really beautiful um the shimmers in here are okay they're not they're like nice i think they would actually be like maybe nice highlighters they might have a little bit too much of a white base but they're not like the best and then this shade right here does have a little bit of sparkle in it which just blends away so it's totally fine but overall this is such a beautiful matte formula i love the color story i love everything about this palette i would definitely definitely purchase this one if it was coming out right now on to the bad witch club from give me glow cosmetics this one came out right around halloween from what i recall i believe the palette looks so messy on the inside i'm not quite sure what's going on i could actually probably create something similar to this look that i have on with these two shades which is kind of funny i don't like gimme glow mattes like i'm not a huge fan of them i think sometimes depending on the palette they perform better than others and definitely with this palette it was the kind of more harder to work with gimme glow matte formula i'm sure that they only have one formula but for me i can tell a little bit of a difference and i think it has a lot to do with the just kind of shades that are in here like especially these two i feel like these two might be just harder shades to formulate because of the way they look and the tone of them but i'm obviously just assuming that and then the shimmers in here they're nice but they were kind of not really as shiny as i was expecting them to be once i got them on the lid they were really smooth and beautiful but just not what i was really hoping for so i was really really let down by this palette so knowing what i know now about this palette i would not be purchasing it just because of that because i love the color story i love the theming i love the names of the shades in there but it's just unfortunately it was like kind of 
a flop for me for a palette. Onto the last palette, this is the Beauty Bay palette Age of Opulence. I was so excited about this one when it came out. I really love the color story. I really, really, really love the color story in here. There's lots and lots of depth, which is something I really look for. The metallics are really beautiful. I find that uh, Beauty Bay shimmers are very, very similar to Glamlight, as well as like a couple of other brands. I can't put my finger on what the other ones are, but they can crease on me if I put on a little bit too much. I do remember the mattes in this palette were like the best out of all the Beauty Bay palettes that I've tried. So why did I buy this again? I just feel like, again, it would depend on how big is my collection. So I'm going to say yes because of the color story. Because of the color story and because overall the shiny shades are really shining. So those are all the palettes I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a part two. Would you like to see a part two of the previous video where I talked about only uh, palettes that were gifted in PR? I would love to hear your thoughts. And also, did any of these surprise you? And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. There's so much eating makeup content uporting my channel and much more to come. You don't want to miss out so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time